What a night of football. A historic night of football. A historic night of football. It's the first time in my lifetime and yours and the majority of people listening that England have beaten Germany in the knockout stages of a European comp or any competition for that matter. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. What a night. 087172 Everyone wants to have their say, which is why we are on at the earlier time. Ooh, the earlier time of 8 p.m. And we're going all the way up. Not till 9. Not till 10. Not till 11. But to midnight into the next day. And we'll keep you updated with who the opponents are going to be as well. That comes over on TalkSport 2. But you don't want to go to TalkSport 2. You want to stay here so you can have your say on national radio. 087172 Jason Cundy. Oh, my word. Jason Cundy. Oh, my Cundy. word. Honestly, it's, it's been an absolute pleasure to spend it with you and, and, and all the gang in the green room watching that game because that will live with me for the rest of my life. It will. It was, it, it's one of those games, where were you? It's a where were you moment. I was next to you on the couch. You were. And that's why I will never forget that you were next to me. It's, it's a, <laughs> no, no, but it, it's a... I'll never it, forget you either. No, but it's a where were you moment. Yeah, that's right, because it doesn't happen. That is it. That, that, these moments in sport and in football do not come around that often. In fact, this one, the first in 66 that we've beaten Germany in a knockout stage of a major tournament. Do not underestimate how huge this is. Do you remember that one? You would have been about 10. But I know I've you been, weren't born, I know Jason. You, I know you know that. I know. I thought. I think we that. should talk about the game. Right? I think the first thing we should do. By the way, Jason's all over the place. He has been since that final whistle went. The first thing we should do is congratulate Gareth Southgate because throughout the match, I like quite a lot of England fans were, was moaning about his tactics, his, his formation. Not like, yeah, okay, yeah, formation. The fact that we didn't have anyone in the middle of the park to create. And I, I will hold my hand up now. I'll be the first person to. I got it wrong because Southgate. My goodness. Got it slap bang on. He had a game plan and it, it worked to perfection. And that game plan was to hold Germany, to keep holding them, try and nick it, try and nick it, didn't happen. And then you bring on Creelish with 20 minutes to go. What an impact, by the way. What an impact by the substitute, to yep. quote. Yep. He just changed the game. It just, it just completely changed when he came on. Sack, I thought, was fantastic. Ran out of steam. I thought he was great. I thought every England player was monumental. They were just brilliant. They did everything they were asked and more. Raheem mm. Sterling, I, I've said many a time before, I've changed now, of course. I'm not his biggest fan. I wasn't. I don't think anyone can say anything negative about Raheem Sterling ever again. He's, he has basically got England to the last eight with his goals. No one else has, has really done it for England apart from him in front of goal. Harry Kane, I'm proud and pleased for Kane now he's got off the mark. And I, I'm guessing it's exactly the right time to start scoring for England when you get to the last stages. Just everything about that performance, everything about the 11, everything about the formation, the tactics, was 10 out of 10. Well done, Southgate. Well done, England. Well done, everyone involved. Just from start to finish, perfection. Well, you're absolutely, I, I echo everything you just said there. And, and when you're England manager, every decision you're, you make is scrutinised. And before the game, you and I were talking about the team selection, and I spoke to, to, to White and Jordan earlier, if you're going to go with a three, that was the th that, that was the team I would have picked, and it was it was widely predicted that was the team. But what you what you got to remember is that the way that they lined up the, against Portugal and what they did against Portugal, Goosen's on one side, um, Simich, uh, Smith, Simich on the other side, and they played high and they played wide, and they almost played like wingers. So even though they had three at the back, they played with their wing backs almost beyond the midfield. And Gareth noticed, noticed that, and he wanted to make sure we nullified that. And the early part of the game, then the first three or four minutes, Shaw was really tight, yeah. really high and tight. And then they they started to take a, a grip of the game, a game Germany, and they they controlled it. And the, and we looked a bit nervous. I felt, I felt we looked a little unsure of the way the system was going to work. But I think overall, when you look at what Gareth has done, he's changed the shape of the team. The personnel. He was handicapped by the fact that Mount was missing. I don't. Ex I didn't expect Chilwell to start anyway, but that was an option he wasn't even a, a, allowed to, to use. But he's gone with Phillips and Rice in the middle of the park, and Henderson was an option. And if he'd gone with that experience, I don't think we could have blamed him. But he's gone with three centre halves, and he's he's dropped Mings, and I felt Mings has done really well in this tournament. But he's gone with Walker, Stones, and Maguire. And we've kept clean sheets. Another clean sheet. We are we are the stingiest team left in this tournament. Italy conceded later on in their game <clears throat> um, in, in the last 16 themselves. But this was a brilliant performance. 
and do not underestimate what Gareth Southgate has done tactically with the personnel, the shape. This this was, I'll say it, it's, this was a masterclass in what was up against a good, not brilliant, good German side. And credit to him, credit to the players. I felt that the subs could have been made a little bit earlier, if I'm honest. I felt Grealish could have come on a bit earlier. I wasn't happy with Kane. I'd have taken Kane off a bit earlier, but he scores. That that goes to show why I'm sitting here not on the dugout. But again, to start with Sterling, which was the right move, he scores again. I think we have to give Gareth a huge amount, a huge amount of kudos mm -hmm. about getting the team right, the tactics right, the personnel right, and the shape right. This this is this is one of the, this is one of the best thing performances that we have seen in a very, very mm. long time. Uh, let me tell you, of course, uh, England play the winners of Ukraine against Sweden on Saturday evening. That obviously will be live on TalkSport. That's currently nil-nil after 10 minutes has been played. We'll keep you up to date with that. If you want to hear that, you can. It's over on TalkSport too, but I'm guessing you want to stay here and uh, have your sound national radio like a lot of you. I'm looking at the switchboard now. Loads of you do now. Here's the good news, gang. 08717 Dial that number. You can have your say. The whole world is listening, so pick up the phone and get involved. More good news coming your way right now because we are here. Usually it's a three-hour show. We are four hours long tonight, so we are whoa, with whoa, you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, hold on. Hmm. Hold on. Told you that. What? Whoa. What? I haven't told you that. I meet my mates down the pub at 11. <laughs> now I know that's a lie because you haven't got any mates. <laughs> the Sports Bar with Andy Goldstein and Jason Cundy. Monday to Thursday night from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.